what is up everyone today's video is unbelievably exciting and that is because today we finally get to take a look at amd's fidelity effects and what it does for vr now for those of you that know what fidelity effects is you know that it's not exactly something new and that it didn't come out yesterday so why are we taking a look at it today to answer that question i must first take you back and explain to those people that don't know what fidelity effects is what exactly it is so to quote Digital Trends, Fidelity Effect Super Resolution is a shadow-based upscaling technique and takes place towards the end of the rendering pipeline. It takes an image rendered at a lower resolution than the native resolution set by the gamer and performs two passes to improve its visual quality so it's more akin to the native resolution. So essentially, this is AMD's answer to Nvidia's DLSS. While it's not going to be as powerful as DLSS, especially since it's still technically in its infancy, it is going to work with a lot more more GPUs than Nvidia's DLSS. Not only does AMD's fidelity effects work with AMD GPUs, it also works with older Nvidia GPUs that may not have access to DLSS. So why exactly are we taking a look at it today? Well, that's because while I was on holidays, a mod came out for Fidelity Effects that allows you to use it with pretty much any VR game. And I actually completely forgot about this until a comment reminded me about it yesterday, and I was like, oh my gosh, I was supposed to take a look at that. So that is exactly what we're doing today. We're going to take a look at AMD's Fidelity Effects VR mod and see what it can do for us and our frame rates. Let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are on the VR mods GitHub page. And as you can see here, again, in about fidelity effects and super resolution, the idea is that the game initially renders at a lower resolution, thus saving GPU time and rendering at a higher FPS. So potentially, if this mod works correctly, we should look at a much higher frame rate, potentially even double. Now, the problem is this is also still in its infancy. So not only will it not work on every VR game, it might not work on every GPU, but hey, that's exactly what we're here to find out. Not the every GPU part, I'm not rich, but this part. So as you can see here, installation instructions. First of all, we want to download the OpenVR FSR zip from the latest release, and the latest release is actually from five days ago, so that is fantastic. Then find the location of openvr underscore API dot DLL in your games installation folder. So you do need to do this with a game by game basis. So just to give you a very quick tutorial on how you would do this with any other game you like, I do believe it needs to be a Steam VR game. It cannot be an Oculus game or at least to the best of my knowledge. So find the Steam VR game that you would like to put this mod on, right click on it inside Steam, go to properties, click on local files and then click browse. Now you are in the main folder of the game. Inside this folder, you will need to find that openvr underscore API dot DLL file. Now take that file and rename it to something because you don't want to lose it in case something goes wrong. For myself, for example, I changed it to underscore back. Then fire up that file you downloaded from the Fidelity Effects mod using 7-zip, WinRAR, or whatever archiving software you use, and take those two files inside there and drag them into that game folder, basically replacing that openvr underscore api.dll file. However, you will also notice you have a second file there. That's your config file. Take that and open it with your favorite text editor. For me, that would be Atom. In here, you will find a bunch of settings, for example, sharpness and render scale. Now, render scale is explained above. So those are your levels of render scale. 0.77 would be ultra quality. 0.67 would be quality. 0.59 is balanced and 0.5 is performance. So change the render scale below to whatever you see fit for your computer or depending on how much FPS you want to get. Underneath that, you've got sharpness. That's on a range from zero to one. So once again, change that to your liking. Then underneath that, you have a little bit more settings, but we're not touching those because I don't know what they mean. And this is enough to get the mod working. Save the file and close it. Now you are ready to launch your game with the mod installed. For example, we are going to try it out on Half-Life Alex. First of all, we're going to run Half-Life Alex without it, of course, to get some benchmarks. So let's fire up uh, Half-Life Alex installation folder. Oh my God, my drives are crying. Here we are, for example, this is the file path of Half-Life Alex's open VR underscore API dot DLL. So we are going to leave that again for now and we're going to get some benchmarks and then we'll come back to this and we are going to replace it with this one right here. Also, I know a lot of you are going to try to kill me for using WinRAR. That's too bad. 
that is a problem. Okay, so maybe Half-Life Alex doesn't actually work, and maybe Star Wars Squadrons doesn't actually work. I should have read the instruction manual first. However, all the others that I tried did work, but there was only one problem. All of them already ran at 120 FPS, and that isn't a flex. I'm as surprised as you are. This thing isn't even that overpowered. But finally, I did find a game that didn't run at 120 FPS, and the mod didn't work. Now, don't worry, that was one game. I did find another, but let me tell you why. The game that I found was The Force. The Force never ran at 120 FPS for me. In fact, it runs at about 60, which is just about playable. But even with the mod installed, it seems to cap out at 60. I'm almost certain this is a problem with the game itself and limitations that it has and not being very well optimized because everyone I've spoken to didn't have much success running it with The Forest. However, I tried the one and only game that causes FPS drops for everyone, VR Chat. Now, the world that I'm currently in, in VRChat, my home world, runs at about 60 FPS, at full render resolution and all graphics and effects on high. Yes, I know, not really playable, and imagine that when there's more people in there. However, I installed the mod, and nothing. Turns out that with default settings, the mod didn't do very much to VRChat at all. In fact, it only bumped me up by about 2 to 3 FPS, and while graphics didn't look degraded at all, that was not going to do me. So I decreased the multiplier. I went all the way down to 0.5, and while I didn't have to go that far, I wanted to push it to its limits and see how bad it would really look. Boom. 120 FPS. Not only was VRChat still completely playable, it still looked really nice. And if I bumped up the sharpness, it would probably look even nicer. This mod was a huge success, but I wasn't convinced. Was it a fluke? So I went back, renamed my old OpenVR API file to OpenVR API and removed the modded one and checked again, 60 FPS. Went back, installed the mod again, 120. It was not a fluke, and it makes me so unbelievably happy because finally I can play at 120 FPS, but it also makes me so happy to see that this could help so many of you out. With this mod actually working, we actually have a super old video on this channel that shows you that yes, you can actually play virtual reality on unsupported GPUs on very old GPUs. It will work because while Link might not allow you to connect, virtual desktop actually will. And to those of you that have older GPUs, this could be of so much help. And even of, even for those of you with newer GPUs, because I mean, come on, I have an RX 5700 XT. And as I said, it's not very overpowered, but it's not a bad GPU. And yet this could help me. So I can only imagine how many of you this could help. And it makes me so excited because FPS in VR is so important. That's why 120 Hertz on the Quest 2 was such a big deal. It reduces motion sickness and increases immersion because your head won't lag behind when you move it around. This is unbelievable. And it works so much better again than I expected it to. I expected maybe a 10, 20 FPS increase at max. No, this doubled my FPS while making the game still look really nice. I'm amazed. I am absolutely amazed. And once again, I don't have many other games that won't run at 120 FPS. And I tried a bunch of them to show you guys the effect of this. I would really need to replace my GPU with a worse one. That might be a video for another day. However, showing you this mod was my top priority and showing you that yes, it does work. And I feel like a game like VRChat is a very good example of that because it's a modern game running on a modern GPU and yet it still had issues. Showing you how to install this and showing you that it works, again, my top priority. I believe that after I did that, you guys can go and test it out yourself, and then tell me down in the comments section which games you tried it on and what your results were. That way, maybe we can form like an archive or something that tells us which games this works on and which games it doesn't work on. Because while I myself don't have every game in the universe banding together, we may just be able to get something out of this. I am unbelievably happy with the results that we received here, and I hope that you guys are as well. The link to the mod will of course be down in the 
description below. It's the GitHub link. And I highly doubt the creator of the mod is watching this, but just in case you are, thank you so much for creating this. You are reducing motion sickness and increasing immersion for so many people right now. And yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, but would like to join us, we have a Discord server down below. We also have a Reddit where I would like to see you posting your spice memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick merch down below, including these mugs that boost your FPS by 300%, and merch that doesn't put a huge on body. And if you guys want to know if you have content coming up on the channel, then make sure to smack that subscribe button with your horde and bell, and see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.